Now let's talk about radians. What is radian? Radian is also one way of measuring angle. But how does it work and what it is? To learn that we are going to draw a circle. So the radian is actually the angle subtended at center by an arc equal to the radius of the circle. So suppose if this is the circle, this is the center O and this is the radius R. So if I take an arc which is equal to the length of the radius along with this circumference and suppose this length, this curved length is equal to R then the angle subtended by this arc at the center that means this angle is called one radian and this length of the arc is actually the length along the circumference it is not the length of the chord this is not r this length in white is not r it is actually the length along the circumference of the circle right so now you must be having one question that this angle may vary but actually this angle is always a constant. The angle subtended by the radius of the circle at the center of the circle is always a constant. How does it work? See, if we talk about the perimeter of the circle, perimeter of the circle is actually 2 pi r, right? And we also know that the angle subtended by any arc on the perimeter is proportional to the length of the arc. If I call this arc as a B arc A B the angle A O B is actually directly proportional to the length of the arc A B or from here we can say that angle A O B will be equal to K times R why R because the length of arc A B is equal to the radius of the circle right and now let me call it as equation number one and now if I take this point and call it as P. Angle POB is actually a right angle and this will be equal to some K times one fourth of the perimeter because this quadrant actually represents the one fourth of the circle so the length of the arc PB will actually be the one fourth of the perimeter of the circle. So it will be K times one by four perimeter of the circle that is 2 pi r right or angle POB will be equal to some k times pi r by 2 and now let me call it as equation number 2 right and if I do equation number 1 by equation number 2 we are going to get the ratio of angle AOB which is the angle subtended by the arc equal to the radius of the circle to a right angle because angle POB is actually a right angle. So angle AOB divided by angle POB will be equal to KR divided by K pi R by 2. This K will cancel this K, this R will cancel this R and we are going to get 2 by pi over here. So the ratio of the angle subtended by the radius on the center of the circle to the right angle which is POB over here is equal to 2 by pi where 2 is a constant and pi is also a constant right that means the angle subtended by the radius of a circle to the center is actually equal to 2 by pi times the right angle that is angle POB this actually proves that the angle subtended by the radius to the center of the circle is always a constant and that angle is actually called as radian. That means whatever radius you take the angle subtended by the radius to the center of the circle is always going to be a constant and this is named as one radian. So here we have got one radian is actually equal to 2 by pi times right angle. 1 radian is 2 by pi times right angle. So the value of right angle in radians is actually pi by 2. The value of right angle in terms of radians is pi by 2 which is equal to 90 degrees. So if 90 degrees is equal to pi by 2 then 180 degrees will be the double of pi by 2 that means pi and the value of 360 degrees will be actually 2 pi. 
So, this is the relation between degrees and the radians and this can be used while solving the problems when the angles are given in radians and this is also called the circular measurement. So, radians are also called circular measurements. So, this is all about the measurements of the angles and the units which we use to measure the angles. So, in next few videos, we are going to talk about the conversion from degrees to grades or degrees to radians and vice versa. So, keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.